Well, I mean, as we, uh, but uh, also you have, like you said, you have these great moments, and we saw some other housewives from other franchises show up to Teresa's wedding, which I'm kind of excited to see about that. But if you ain't paying attention to housewives, let us just give you an update on how bad, and by bad I mean bad. In a good way. Oh, like bad the Real bitch. Housewives of New York City is coming in hot. Oh, like we yes. have not seen a hot cast like this who's yeah. bringing elements to the table the way that this year is doing it. And I think Andy Cohen has done such a great job in not and even if it's not Andy, but the casting department has done a great job in mm. choosing a diverse, a diverse cast that I feel actually represents New York City. But Ronnie, I'm gonna let you take it away. So go ahead, talk about it. Um, well, you said a lot there, and that is very valuable information. You know, I unfortunately did not like that Real Housewives of New York ever went on a pause, but I guess maybe going on a pause is some sort of, you know, fantastic strategy long run, long term, because, you know, it do, it did have a salivating and waiting for the show to come back. Um, and then the way that they ended up doing it does seem to work. So what they're going to do is the... Um, the show that was going to be called Legacy, which supposedly Jill Zarin had some issues with that, or that's why it didn't go the way it was supposed to, um, which I say you pay Jill Zarin what she's worth because Jill Zarin is fantastic at this program. Um, some would say even thirsty, but I think Jill Zarin is one of the best to ever do it. That's just how I feel. Anyways, Jill Zarin did not come back. They did not do the legacy in the setting that they were going to do it. Now they're going to bring those Real Housewives of New York OGs, I guess you would call them. They're going to um, have them do an ultimate girls trip. I think it would. it's, it's going to be okay. Sonia, Dorinda, Luann, you know, some of the regulars. Yeah. I just don't necessarily feel like not letting them be in New York is a bit of a challenge. New York is a little bit of the draw. Yeah. So they probably want to do that to differ. differ, differ I'm tired. Differentiate themselves from the current, which will be the new season of Real Housewives of New York, which got a complete reboot. Um, so I'll say that the Ultimate Girls Trip, Real Housewives of New York, the legacy, it's going to be okay. But I'm I'm very much excited for the uh, the show as it may be. I do feel like I feel bad because I don't think I still feel like Ebony K. Williams should have continued on with the show. But I understand that. With all that had happened, I suppose, they needed to, like, to make it feel fresh, they had to, like, revamp completely. Yeah. But I still feel like yeah. there's, in my opinion, there's still space or should have been space for Ebony K. Williams, who pretty much had a wonderful first season. If you really track it back, all the, even with all the stuff that everyone had to go through, Ebony did a really wonderful season. But she's such a talent. She was viral the other, she went viral the other day based on a conversation. And she is a... Uh, what is it? She's very provocative in her conversation. She gets you to think, you know, whether you like it or you don't. So shout out to Ebony K. Williams. Um, I've been in correspondence with her about another project. So we, we of course support her and like, you know, what she brings to the table, but now let's get to the group. So as Russell said, yes, it's going to be such a variety. Russell, I'm not going to go through each cast member because we don't have the time right now, but we will get to it. Real Housewives of New York's coming back in July, completely revamped the good and the bads. The only negative I have, Russell, I'm talking right to you, Russell. Oh, the only hey, negative that I have is while we grew in the vibe of like, you know, I was in Tribeca earlier. I was in Harlem later in the afternoon. I'm in Queens now. Like, I'm, so I see all of New York, yes. right? Yes, yes. And so when I see it, I feel it. I touch it. I touch it. I get the texture of it. So the cast does represent that. And I like that. That's a positive. Mm hmm. I still feel like there was room to give women of a certain age the platform. You know what mm -hmm. I mean? Mm -hmm. Like while you can see the trailer and everyone's like, oh, they're so cute. They're so fashionable. Like they're living great. But that would be the only downfall. We've, we've fallen in love with the show based on seeing women who otherwise don't get tons of opportunity in television. So I'm always going to stick to, I wish we could have had a lot of what we're having on the show, the, the, the new revamp, which is coming in July. But I still wish we had somebody who, I don't know, spoke the language of like Dorinda. You know, Dorinda was always mm -hmm. very authentic. Dorinda didn't do, like, you know how like, we love J-Lo for being like over 50 years old, but she looks like she's 30. Yes. There's nothing wrong with that. We love J-Lo work. Yes. But also, I love it when a, a, a more seasoned woman can also dress to the age and it's not saying you have to dress a certain way mm -hmm. that would be my only negative and i know we got to wrap up here um 
my positive is I think Jenna Lyons is going to do fantastic. Mm -hmm. Um, I watched her reality show on HBO. Um, okay. She's just such a, I don't know. I just like her. And we have got um, this fashion forward girl named Sai, who I think is being arced a little bit as like a playful villain, but we are eating it up. Sai, I mean, <laughs> I have never been on a housewife's Instagram so quickly and like just eating up everything she's giving. So I think she's going to be a huge instrumental part of the success of the Real Housewives of New York. Again, I'd love to see a couple older cast members, but we're going to let this work. And I think Real Housewives of New York is going to be back. I hope that it succeeds quite tremendously because I hated not having Real Housewives of New York on the TV. I just, I, yeah. I thought, I thought get, bring it back, bring it back. I, I, this has been a long wait. So season 14 is about to be, size season jenna lyon season and then we're gonna meet a lot of new girls too so and it's new york you want to see people like i just said my day started at 4 30 tribeca harlem queens like that's what it is to live in new york you're you're all yeah. over the place that's yeah. what i'm doing and then i'm stopping yeah. down to do a podcast with russell so um i will we, say i am glad that. that actually ebony k williams is not back there oh, oh some, my goodness the slander there was some controversial things that i did not agree with uh, but I will digress because uh, 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 I don't think that they're proper to bring up on this show. However, I don't think we have can, the time because you, you, you want to figure out that in private. But no. oh my god, um, what did Ebony do? <laughs> there was there was just some things that I'm like, mm, just like just like um, there was a recent uh, episode of Girls Trip where there were some comments made too that were kind of controversial that I I don't even think should have made the air. But again, we can talk about that off camera. Uh, Wait, but, but she wasn't on Girls Trip. I know, but like just in general. Oh, gotcha, gotcha, like, gotcha. We're, well, we're, letting we'll revisit. Fly. we're letting things fly that shouldn't be flying on camera because we're just in a time and age where just, things aren't acceptable anymore. We'll revisit uh, another Not time. even anymore, but just Dude, in general. Quick, but like quick, we're too far advanced and knowledgeable to be letting quick things question. slip through the cracks. Quick question. Do you what? What is your thought on Leah? Because the show's a, a little bit of a younger show, this new Real Housewives of New York cast. Uh-huh. Ebony didn't get asked to be on it, which I, I personally think she should. Mm -hmm. which is fine. She's again, she's, she's got her, I think she's got to deal with Byron Allen and she's doing her own show. Like Ebony's always going to work. Um, what do you think of Leah not being in a cast that kind of matches her energy a little bit more than the Ramona, Sonia, Luann, Dorinda? What, what, what do you think of that? I don't. <laughs> her time is, her time is just done. Yeah. 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 I agree. I agree. <laughs> that was so shady of me. That was no. so shady of me, but I I don't. <laughs> I think that okay, means the show is just about over. But uh, I'm just really happy to see Real Housewives of New York back. Did you know in Andy Cohen's book, he stated that there was some, maybe not a lot, some correspondence at some point for Wendy Williams to join Real Housewives of New York. And I don't believe I'm saying this because since when does a reality TV show choose the moral high ground or ethics or kind of like the tender love and care. Usually they see something and they will exploit it to the fullest uh -huh. in his book, daddy diaries. Andy Cohen stated that um, Wendy Williams, her or the team had made some correspondence and that he chose, I think I mentioned this last week uh, that he chose to not move forward with that. This, this might've been early on. This might've been before the cast was even assembled mm -hmm. because uh, overall, while we want, we all, want Wendy to return in some capacity going down that road while she wasn't in a good place was going to be yeah. really not the greatest. So yeah, that would have been bad. Yeah. So hopefully Wendy could find a home somewhere, hopefully. but it's not going to be on real housewives of New York. So yeah. Will Maybe, you be tuning in? Bring her in as a co-host at to the clubhouse. Yeah. Right. Andy's so shady. Andy don't let nobody shine with him. No, he well, doesn't. He, you know, he to, doesn't. You have to remember though, we have to, we all have to take a piece of humble pie and we all have to, uh, <laughs> we do, uh, all of us have to give our, give the veterans, we have to give our veterans the, the spotlight, the moment, the gratitude, all of it, right? Because there were those who came before us and Wendy Williams, there would be no entertainment, anything if it was not for Wendy Williams. Mm -hmm. And with that being said, thank you all <laughs> for joining us. We will see you for Teresa's wedding special and our thoughts on what we really think about it. Until then, you can search all over the internet. You can find me at Russell <sighs> Times Raymond. 
And you can find Randomly Ronnie Jr. at randomlyronniejr.com mm. mm. or on his YouTube space or on Instagram <laughs> at Randomly Ronnie Jr. So I didn't know we were going to have to cover Teresa's wedding. My pay grade needs to go up because to cover Teresa's wedding. her wet as boring as she is. Oh, good. I need him. I need to end the show. We got to say goodbye because I need I need to get my mind right. That is crazy. <laughs> <laughs> See you later. Bye. <laughs>